Hey everyone, this is a uh, Mega Man fan here. Um, today I'm doing a video of all the parts inside my Sharp NES TV. I've spent the last few days just logging all the caps on all the boards in case someone ever wanted to uh, replace them all just um, in, in case they're bad or just because of age. So um, here you go. I hope you all enjoy this video. I put a lot of time into it. So um, here you go. Main purpose of this video is just like I said to help everyone out. Um, let's just do a quick start out here of what all I got. Right here is the board for the uh, Nintendo part of the Sharp NES TV. There is the neck board right there. That is the uh, power board for the flyback on the TV. This is the main motherboard. And right in here, I have the regular NES board for a, out of a Nintendo. And if you can just, you can't really see over there, I have uh, the top and bottom to the uh, NES machine. Now I'm going to fade out quick, I'll be right back. Okay everybody, we're back here with light. Um, where I want to start here is just like I said, um, I want to show everything on this board. That way you got an idea where all the caps are, the numbers. Um, funny thing is, this is like my fourth time trying to make a video of this. Um, I got a camcorder, but it's, it's not as good as my phone, for, which is pretty funny. I mean, the light and everything helps a lot for this phone to just like get an idea where everything is at. Um, I'm going to just go back up again because I don't think we got all the uh, numbers for everything. Just the log. Like I, like I said, I'm just going really slowly. I've been really, really wanting to get this done um, mostly for you, everybody else. Because I'm like the guy who's like, I would really like to see a video about this, but nothing is ever there I don't know if people are just afraid to take their TVs apart and uh, show parts of them but um, that's not me now I'm gonna be uh, putting on Nintendo Age a master list of caps uh, it won't all be in order like it won't uh, it won't say hey you need this many of this one cap like a 50 volt 10 UF you need three of those or something it won't be like that you'll just have to like kind of pick it apart but what it will show is what cap does go where saying like looking at this cap this is gonna be C726 which is right there and it's just gonna you know 25 volts yeah. and so many UF now here's the fun part this is the built on RF modulator for this board pretty simple I think it's cool but as I keep scrolling along sorry everyone got a little distracted um, I'll go one more time over See, we ended right here. Anyways, I mean, see all the caps. I hope people get a lot of useful information off of this board or helps them fix it. I mostly did this one, I'll do another hoping that I'll be able to fix my Super Nintendo kiosk eventually. See the type there for, for the fuse, 4 amp, 125 volt. Yeah, there's a lot of dust on here, I'm going to get that all cleaned up as well. Board name. Now it showed the back, but the back is basically the same as the top, except for all it is is like solder points. 
So from right there, I'm just going to move this, this guy aside. Not the best lifting it up. Now here's the uh, fun part of this. This is the NES board for the uh, machine. Pretty simple. Got a few caps. Um, I mostly I have two of these now, but I I mostly need the caps for uh, the second one as they are leaking. Yeah. This is really shiny, so hopefully I can get that rec. I think it's a rectifier, you know. But then again, you know. Now here's an interesting thing. Uh, these right here, this is these are for player one and two. These are for the power to the board and to uh, for the computer part of the board. We get all these uh, things in place. Yep. Now well, just uh here's the reason I brought that SN or the regular Nintendo board over is uh to just show you the differences. See right there you got a uh RF modulator, I'm pretty sure. Like I said, I'm not a hundred percent sure of the name. But just saying it's like if you thought you could put one of these in your sharp NES TV. I'm not sure you can. It would require a lot of work. I mean, it, you can pop out any Nintendo circuit board. Now, I really did look closely at this to see if you could take it off and essentially work with these just by doing, you know. But uh, for me, it's like, in order to do that, you'd have to unsolder these four points here, and maybe these, and then fill them in once it's off the board, and then you'd have to, then, if you had like a bad board, this was bad, cracked or something, unsolder all these, and somehow make them work with all these points here. Again, as you can see, player one and two are there, and they are, these are a lot smaller compared to the ones on uh, this board here. As you can see, these are huge. And then, um, moving on from these, I'm just going to put these aside. I wanted to point out, um, here we go, this is the flyback. And uh, all the parts for that. Also a pin connector. Basically simple. They're universal in all systems. They work for the TV. They work for the Nintendo. I mean, it's the one part they kept universal. But i just showing lots of parts. Hopefully it helps. Try to keep the wires out of the way. And that's the thing about all these wires, they're everywhere. I don't know what this is, but if anyone can tell me, I'm pretty sure it needs to be replaced. As you can see, it's sort of melted. TV works fine, though. I just would like that replaced just because. This is, to my knowledge, in looking online... I'm hoping this video will be the most uh, in-depth on it. Not going to go into testing anything, but mostly just showing what the board, what's on the board itself for all these boards. And uh, so you know, some of these wires do not come off. I mean, they look like they'd pull off simple. But no, that's just, uh,
That's just really deceiving. Now, uh, onto the neck board. Now, I actually uh, had a friend ask for pictures of this neck board because he wanted to try to fix one. I guess he had cracked it somehow. Well, uh, first of all, off, uh, I'm not cutting the wires on this because it's just sitting here. But I'll explain where everything goes. This is the wire. I believe it's a ground part of the ground strap. Follow my hand. I'll point right where it goes onto the board. Moving stuff out of the way is what we go. But right there. Without breaking anything. There's the uh, ground strap. K854, K851. But you follow it, and I'm pretty sure it's the ground because it goes right to the ground wire. And while we're here, let me show you the inside of the TV here too. There's a warning label. I hope that helps. Um, I don't think anyone's recorded any of this. Oh, we gotta get my hand away from the fly. Um, here's the speaker. Right there, if you ever want a replacement speaker. Pretty simple. Um, the wiring for this, if you ever screw it up, uh, I'll point it, there's the two prongs. The solid white goes here, then there's a white with a little, little red stripes going on the bottom. And then, uh, let's just completely keep going. Here's my Sharp NES TV, uh, label that just marks what the TV is. And then, uh, just go around in it. We'll get back to the neck board in a moment. I'm just really really want to thoroughly and this this is the hookup for the RF modulator on the board as you can see very simple this hooks into the bottom of the board right there there's two clips as you can see a hole left and right and then the uh, wires just clip right on uh, See, there's that board there. Here's how it's done. And then, uh, as you can see in the back, pretty simple. You got your switches there. UF board there. Here, let me get this out of the way so everyone can see what the board's like. I don't want to be unscrewing this because. pretty simple All right. now for that I'm, I'm pretty sure once you take these apart you'll get the, you'll get the hang of what everything's used to now here we go here's the main part I was waiting to show you all. I know you've already seen the glimpse, but the NES neck board, or the neck board for the NES TV. Here you go. I gotta go really slow because just wanna make sure my buddy gets all this info in. You can see there's the uh, numbers for the pins, for the color palettes and stuff. My phone's getting real bit slow, which means they're probably running out of room. Okay, we're back. Uh, I just had to uh, fix some things. 
again I want to do a really close up of this There's nothing really over different in this corner here other than that. Here's these labeled one through five on this paper here. See the adjustment screws here. See if we'll focus in. Sorry I'm taking so long everybody. And uh, let me just set this on here quick so you can see a nice, nice, nice picture of the entire board. Aaron, I hope this really helps you out. I went through a lot of time to get this. All the help friends. Hope our buddy here, you can get his neck board fixed for us. There we go. Just had a hard time focusing there for a moment. There you go. Kind of had to block the camera a little bit in order to. S May seem like I'm wasting time, but there we go. It's very important I get all these numbers. Again, Aaron, if you have any more questions, just ask. I I'll send more pictures of this net neck board. And uh there you go, everybody. This is Mega Man Fan here, and um, you have a good day. Forgot to add something, people. Uh, just starting up a little bit again. Um, this is actually what it looks like together. Uh, no, I didn't put this together fast. This is actually the original for the bottom of the TV. I have an extra bottom. And uh, I'm just trying to show everything here. Now, I am missing a piece to this TV if, uh, for an extra bottom. It's this right here, which is the control circuit board to turn it on and off. Now, uh, I don't want to move this too much. The feet are going to break off. But as you can see, the circuit board right here, no pins or anything. But that's uh, the on and off switches for the uh, NES. And it's like I can log the wires to, of course, we got 1942 in there. And uh, here's the circuit board for the controllers. I'm going to end that there. Um, also, here's the top. This is also an extra top I had for 
it obviously. Um, as you can see, how the machine does it. The TV just sits on top of here, but there's a bunch of screws all throughout this area here that hold it together. And then when, if you look in here, pretty simple. But it's right here. I believe these are the mounting screws. Underneath is four Phillips screws. One, two, three. And uh, you'll see the other two things. Yeah, four Phillips screws hold it together. Um, anyways, everyone, uh, here's a brief picture of uh, some of my collection. Um, thanks and have a good day. Bye.